you know, he said, well, it'd be great to get 2,000, wouldn't it? He said, yeah. There it is. The linemen, they're the ones who wanted the 2,000. Barry didn't talk about it. Papa watching on the sidelines. William. <laughs> Herman Moore stole the ball. In 1994, after receiving criticism for having, quote, so many dull games, the NFL made a big decision. This included multiple rule changes in favor of the offense, catapulting the league into the modern NFL. The 90s saw the Bills go to four straight Super Bowls and not win a single one. The San Francisco 49ers, who made the transition to Steve Young at quarterback, found a way to win another Super Bowl. This gave them five titles since 1981. But that took Little Storm away from the Dallas Cowboys. Led by their triplets, they won three Super Bowls in four years. Whether your team was winning Super Bowls or getting relocated, it was a time to remember. It was crazy posters, starter jackets, and Tech Mobile. It was the 90s. The presentation of NFL games has come a long way. In the 90s, they would show the down and distance in the bottom corner before the snap, but the scoreboard didn't even appear while games were going. You simply just had to watch and know the score and roughly how much time remained on the clock. The only time that you saw the score was when it was going to and coming back from commercial break. By the late 90s, TV stations like Fox had started showing an overlay with a score, which quarter it was and how much time was left on the clock. If we compare that to now, networks like CBS and Fox feature additions to the score overlay that include the team's logo, their record for the season, the play clock, and constantly flipping through scores and stats of other games at the bottom of the screen. The 90s form of watching football was much more of a pure fan experience. It was very straightforward. This was a time where pads were huge and uniforms were loose. The grabbing and pulling a player down by his jersey was a much better strategy back then. Here's a good visual just to show how much uniforms have changed. Overall, it fits much better. Knee and thigh pads are now paper thin. Without the clunkiness of the excess padding, players now have a much better range of motion and mobility in general. Today's uniform features more style than ever before. Over the span of time, we saw accessories go from protective layers to a fashionable look. Deion Sanders is one of the OGs when it comes to football style. He rocked this long sleeve armband combo in the 90s. He was cool before being cool was a thing in the league. Because the league still had stadiums that used AstroTurf, players had to wear these special turf shoes called Nike Airs. It was kind of like regular turf, just way worse. It looked like this and was placed on top of cement. The length of it was so short that standard cleats had no chance of being effective. Playing on this material made you feel extremely fast and elusive, but if you fell down or got tackled on it, you paid a major price. Herman Edwards once said, I don't know anybody who liked playing on artificial turf that we had back then. It was like playing football on concrete. It's a weird concept to imagine and it didn't last too much longer in the NFL. Even though most players are still not a fan of the turf they have now, it's still better than what they had back then. So I didn't exactly grow up in the 90s. For this section, I'm gonna turn it over to my man, Five Point Vids. 
Now that I look back at it, football culture in the 90s was very different than it is today. You have to remember there were a few things missing back then. Easily available internet and an entire industry dedicated to covering football like it is now. The two go hand in hand. While things like dial-up internet existed for the most part, you got your sports info from either the newspaper or sports center. So if you weren't glued to the TV on Sunday trying to figure out if your team won, you didn't know. Secondly, without internet, there was no fantasy football other than a few hardcore guys that mailed in their stats. So the fan experience was a little bit more pure, unless you had a bookie. Not to say that football wasn't hella fun back in the 90s. For me, I love seeing the huge shoulder pads, the violent hits, but as a fan that lived out of state from the squad I loved, keeping up with the G-men was often difficult. Of course, that lack of connectivity allowed the greatest linebacker of all time to buy crack without getting it plastered on social media. LT, still love you, dog. I hope I never get back in. I will kick your Tell me, what is your secret? How do you find yourself in the right position all the time? That, 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 that's a good question. What, what happens is that the, 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 the center has, has the ball first, and, and, and a quarterback will say, hike. That's when the center puts the, the ball in, into the, the hands of, of the quarterback. So what I do is I, I start tackling the quarterback unless he gives the ball to, to somebody else, in which case I'll, I'll try to tackle that person. Hmm. Gentlemen, what brings me to my next point, don't smoke crack. <laughs> Sports games in the 90s saw a lot of change. Tecmo Super Bowl, which came out in 1991, is considered an all-time classic. It's beloved by the generation of kids who grew up playing it. And just seven years later, football games looked dramatically different than what we saw back then. This was truly the golden era of being into football games. The characters in the game went from pixels to actually starting to look like football players. Due to the competition of multiple companies pushing to create the best game on the market, 90s gamers had a variety of great titles to choose from. Nowadays, we are sort of in a weird period for NFL football games. Madden has been the single NFL game on the market since buying the exclusive rights to use NFL teams and players. With every year that passes, it seems the player base is growing more and more skeptical of the game and the direction that EA is taking the franchise. As someone who can't even get through a single game of Madden anymore, I'm really hoping that this new college football game that's set to come out hits it out of the park. Us football fans need it. Since the rule changes in 1994, the NFL has had an emphasis on player safety and has continued to help the offensive side of the ball ever since we can expect them to continue going down this path. The days of the old school, big collision type of football that we all grew up on is fading. Plus, I don't know if any of the players will ever be as tough as they used to be. I mean, how many quarterbacks in their late 30s would do this? Point. 11th play of this drive that started back at the Bronco 8. Third and six, Elway shot down. Almost offside, but the Packers got back on. Elway, scrambling, looking, running. 